It seems that Gone Warfare 2 is finally getting recognized by EA themselves. Well, in the past, not in a good way. But let's talk about today. You're free to stay for now, by the way. Also, sorry for my voice today. I'm a little sick. But it's getting better. So on the answers EA they on the feedback, EA's community manager Shepard mentioned said this. Hello everyone. So thanks to Shikron's link to the Steam stats page, it got me thinking about support and updates. All we know that there isn't a team any longer to support the game, but we are here, still playing. We we are still having fun. I've tossed it together some info to send up the chain, and I need your help. I need you to post as much as data as you can to traffic hitting almost 10k on one of the platforms as a perfect start. It may not be the large as college football, but the fans still love the series. What I need for you is pretty simple, if you can. I need some screenshots as much as info as you can and send me the link that could get more eyes on the series. I cannot promise any type of update on the game, servers, content, etc. But we do need to get things rolling on how we, and I mean peps like me, can support you and the players as best way as they can. And then there's a other option right there. In other words, this could like potentially be EA saying, hey, we're noticing that this game needs a lot more support and we're here to get as much support as we can for now, considering that people love the series. So for starters, we now know that EA, the community manager specifically, is now noticing that the people that likes this series a lot is starting to realize that it needs to be more support than it has now. And many people say that now this is a perfect opportunity for God Warfare 2 to have its own updates and, you know, different things and overall just changes that can happen and the potential to have a good future for God Warfare 2 overall or PvZ in general. But knowing that, you know, it's EA and all how it's been treating PvZ lately nowadays, I kind of don't see that much of a bad much of a positive, but in the same time, maybe. Like, I'm basically saying that, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not the one that's being negative and like, oh yeah, it's not gonna happen, people don't get excited and stuff like that. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I don't see that most of a likely to happen knowing how EA treats PvZ lately, or other things that they've been treating it. Like the one time they made that anti-cheat, but it's not that good. But that has been over with already, so this is a different topic now. Now, there could be potential to make updates for this game, but as they said earlier, the team no longer works for the um, game and the series, so they could do as best they can to like put something even something small that they can do somewhat change it up. So maybe though, it won't be something like huge as something. So it probably won't be something huge, but it'll at least be something to change up the game more a bit to make it more alive, if that makes any sense. But there is still a, a hope with that. You know, they actually put something that's really big and actually revive the game a little bit here. I'm not saying that's 100% positive, but it's still positively, but I don't know, to me it's like, it's either they choose to do it in a right way, or they chose the way that, you know, it's gonna make everyone upset, so. Either way though, I don't think that it's that much of a uh, surprise, but I do say that it is a surprise that they actually pay attention to the um, franchise a bit more often and actually give some support as best way they can. Again, I'm not, I'm not gonna say this as a negative response video, I'm just saying what my thoughts are knowing how EA treats PvZ nowadays but who knows maybe there'll be something big and maybe there'll be a, an actual positive update and I could be proved wrong but I don't know though now for the other question is that what the updates are gonna be at the future well tell you the truth I have no idea. For I don't know how long this game has been going through since the last update happened, an actual update. I don't know what else they can add into it. I mean, I'm not saying like, you know, there's nothing else to add. I'm just saying like, what else is there to add to keep it alive? I mean, maybe they'll bring back the other modes that, you know, that have been gone and put them back into the portal mode or something. Or bring back the custom lobbies thing where you can like um put other custom lobbies to play modes that you couldn't play. I mean there's a mod of that but 
you can't do a bot with that anymore. So maybe some updates like that can happen here, but maybe at the same time though, it's the mods can no longer be supportive anymore though. So I don't see that much of a positively happen. Are there any more variants going to be added? Well, again, a positively is no. I don't think the any more variants are going to be added to this game at all because I don't think. Like, I, like, like the manager said before, there's no teams working on a game anymore, so there's no positivity they can add, um, you know, the variants in the game without some kind of, like, code they could put in here or something like that, I don't know. What would be the future of Garden Warfare 2, as many people are also saying? Um, is it gonna game it gonna die out sometime soon? Probably not. Will it get some other updates in the future? Probably. Now, probably is a big word to use here because I keep saying this and so I keep saying it again. Knowing EA and how they treat um, using nowadays, but I'm not saying that it's extremely negative. I mean, they have been paying attention and, you know, have been seeing, you know, the PC community liking this franchise a lot and actually try to give their best ways they can to be supportive. Now, if you're gonna try this yourself and give your feedback of how we use Garden Warfare 2 to be supportive, I'm gonna ask you, please do not be as rude as you want to. Do not be so rude about it. Don't sit here and talk trash about BFN and stuff like that. Have a bit more polite response to it, and overall, just give a lot of the polite response and send some screenshots to the, if you can, that is, though. You can look back at the message if you want to. All right, this thing's getting cold. Get this off of me. It's going on way too long. Ah, oh, it's better. There's not that much I can really say other than I really generally hope that, you know, I mean, there isn't really that much to say for now, but I do generally hope that, you know, they can actually put something that actually wow the franchise or the community and whatnot here. So it could be a potential revival for this game overall, though. And who knows, maybe EA will actually finally listen to us and actually give us something good. And, you know, I kind of have faith for it, but that's the same thing I said last time for the Angie Cheat thing, and it turns out to be a huge, giant mess. So, how that half of me, it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's worth being hyped about. I'm not saying there's nothing to be hype about. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's a 50-50 if, if you're ever going to get something good or get something awful. Knowing EA and stuff like that, I don't know. But yeah, that's that's gonna be it for today. That's gonna be it for the PC news, I guess. So if you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.